we need to look at the cosmic scale factor and redshift z. Now, this gives us the cosmic scale factor. At the moment, we're at time zero, and the scale factor is one. So the universe is 100% of what it is now. If we look at this graph, you can see that, let's say, eight billion years ago, the scale factor was 0.5. In other words, the universe was half the size that it is now. If we take uh, 10 billion years ago, the universe was 40% almost of what it is now. Notice that the universe is expanding more or less at a linear rate, but it appears to be getting faster. It appears to be accelerating its expansion. So this is the universe now. And at the moment, the universe is expanding at m almost a constant rate. Notice that just after the Big Bang, the rate of expansion was very high. You have a very steep line there, which means there was a big change in the factor with a small amount of time. This was the inflationary period. We now know that the, the expansion rate will accelerate even more with time due to dark energy. So let's look at a mathematical treatment of the cosmic scale factor. You know, the redshift equation is how much the wavelength changes compared to the original wavelength. We know that as the wavelength gets stretched with time, also the cosmic scale factor will change. With time, all distances are stretched by this cosmic scale factor in whatever time it is. The longer the time it is, the more the distances get stretched. And this cosmic scale factor tells you by what factor the cosmos has stretched since a particular time in the past. So if you observe a distant galaxy with a certain redshift, you basically get what this redshift is, delta lambda divided by the original wavelength, which will be z, that will give you the redshift. If the original emission of this radiation was at wavelength lambda naught, it was this much smaller when the universe had a scale factor of r naught. So it had a smaller wavelength, zero naught, lambda naught, because the universe was smaller, because the wavelength is basically stretched as the universe is stretched. So let's take this equation, delta lambda divided by lambda naught, is also equal to the ratio by which the cosmic scale factor has changed compared to the original value r naught. And we know that delta naught is basically the difference in the ratio between what it is now, which is r, minus what it was, r naught. We can rearrange this. We divide r minus r naught divided by r naught, and we end up with this. Now we can simplify r naught divided by r naught as being equal to 1. So we say that delta r divided by r naught is equal to r over r naught minus 1, and that will be equal to z, because this is the, the Doppler, this is the redshift, which is here. So this is the equation that is most useful to us. The ratio of the cosmic scale factors minus 1 is equal to the, the redshift. In fact, from the data booklet, this is the redshift, this is the redshift, delta lambda divided by delta naught, and it translates quickly onto this. The redshift is equal to r divided by r naught minus 1. Here we have an example of a very distant galaxy. The, it starts at lambda naught, it gets very far shifted. So you know that, that because of the delta lambda there, that was a long time in the past. It means that the universe was much smaller at that time. This is a much more recent shift. So we know that it's going to be um, a fairly recent in time, which means the universe is not much bigger than it was at when this point was uh, measured. So basically what's happening here, this is, can be seen as the universe as it's expanding. The wavelength and space itself is, is expanding with it. So 
as the universe expands, the wavelengths expand with the growth of the universe. Let's look at a numerical example here. We have a particular wavelength, which is 434.0, goes to 479.8. It becomes redshift. How do we find the redshift? Well, we find the difference in the wavelength and divide by the original wavelength. The difference is here, divided by the original, which is 434. And we get a value of 0 0.1. So the redshift is equal to 0 0.1. Now, the equation that we're given is that uh, delta R divided by R naught, which is the the scale factor, the cosmic scale factor, is equal to R divided by R naught minus 1, that's from the data booklet, is equal to this value for Z, which is 0 0.1. We can put the values in there. To simplify this, we can add 1 to both sides. So R divided by R naught is equal to 1.1. In other words, R, which is the scale factor today, is equal to 1.1 times by the scale factor back then, when this uh, source emitted its radiation. So it basically tells us that the universe is 10% bigger now than it was when this light was emitted. And this is the kind of calculation that you will need to be able to do. What would happen if you wanted to find out how much time ago this was done? By using the redshift, you find out what the speed of the source is. From using Hubble's equation, you can, if you know the speed, you can work out the distance. And if you know the distance away, and you know the speed of light, you can figure out how long it took the light to get to us.